Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I achieved this natural faux lash extension look at home for the low. So if you guys are interested in this video, please keep on watching. These lashes have been on for a week, so I'm gonna remove them for you guys. Um, usually after a week's time, it's not as hard to remove as when I showed you guys in my previous video and these are more natural lashes so i wanted to make sure i share with you guys the natural faux mink lash routine okay we are doing the under lash application so i have that video in detail up here so just click right there um and you guys can check out that original video but without further ado let's go ahead and remove these lashes so i'm literally they're already like coming off i'm gonna try to zoom in oh that's the zoomiest i got it but they're already like coming off and so after about a week they literally just peel like that right off and i just like continue to do that and I think they loosen up, um, or they do loosen up with like water, um, soap, face wash, cleansing balm, all of that. So like they're not, after a week, they should not be hard to remove at all. If they are hard to remove, I would just keep wearing them until they get to the point where they start kind of like falling off and then you can redo them. All right, so typically you wanna start off with like clean lashes. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and very quickly clean my lashes. Hopefully you guys can hear me good. It is literally Zamuba filming outside and it's thundering, raining, all that jazz, but we got videos to pump out to y'all. So let's just get to it. So I'm just using a makeup wipe to kind of remove some of that old lash glue that is still on my lashes without pulling out my lashes. So you just wanna wash them. Again, you can wash your actual face instead of doing what I'm doing. I'm only doing this again, cause I got some videos I got to film and I need my lashes done ASAP. So, so I have semi-clean lashes right now and I wanted to do like an affordable routine for you guys as well. And so there's two different lashes we're gonna use today. Um, one is my Kiss Lashes. And these lashes I got from TJ Maxx for $5.99. The number says 11, they're just like wispy lashes. And then another pair, well I only have one left, but we're gonna try to use it. Um, this is the Dramatic Lash from LA Colors. And this was probably like between five and seven dollars from Dollar General. So two affordable lashes um, you can definitely get, especially if you're getting a single pack, you can find them for like two or three ninety nine at TJ Maxx or your drugstore or the hair store. All right, so I like to go ahead and prep my lashes, which means just cutting them into thirds. Y'all can see them right there. It's cut into three different pieces this this is the inner corner this is the middle and this is the outer corner and this is the left lash and I like to keep them in order because you want if you want like the wispy effect the way the lash looks in the pack you want to keep them in order so I personally started using black lash glue because when I use the clear lash glue over time or throughout the week from me washing my face and water getting on my lashes, I feel like the clear would turn a little bit white or it would pick up my makeup and it would be brown and it would be really noticeable. Um, so I have switched to using black lash glue and this is also a fairly affordable um, lash glue and this is the Strip Lash Adhesive, the Lash Couture um, Black Lash Glue. I believe this is from Kiss as well. And so what I'll do is I have spoolies, the same spoolies that I got from Shein. I got them for this exact reason. And what I will do is put the spoolie in the lash glue like so, and then I will brush it on my lash hairs. So 
so I'll start. Now kind of do the lengths of the lash, not necessarily the root. So that way we minimize like pulling out our lashes, but it's time to remove them. And then sometimes for a little added coverage, I take the brush out of the lash glue and just apply some more glue on the lengths of the lash. I try to keep my lashes separate as much as possible, but because my lashes weren't 100% clean when I started this, they aren't fully separate, but it'll work. So then I go ahead and put lash glue on the top of the lash band of the lashes. So now they look like that. That thick black line is where I applied the lash glue. I'm gonna give it a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the second lash that's going on my other eye. And by the time I do that, the glue should be tacky enough for me to apply the lashes. All right, so that was probably like 20 seconds and I'm sure my lash glue is tacky. And I'm going to start with my outer lash, picking them up with lash application tweezers. Hopefully you guys can see. And I am just putting it up underneath on my lashes. Not the lash line, not the water line. So that's our outer lash. I'm gonna do the center. Place it in the center like that. And then the front lash. I'm placing in the front. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm missing my center light because I do not have my ring light in here. So one moment, one moment. All right, so is that better? Do we have this lighting a little bit better? I feel like it's dark in this corner. All right, so this is what this lash is looking like. I think it looks super natural. For this LA Colors lash, I'm just gonna cut it in three and we're just gonna discard the front part and we're gonna use the middle and outer section to add a little bit of fluff. I like to put it in between the lashes that are already placed. And because this is so natural, I I think I want a little, a little bustier on the ends. I don't want it to be too dramatic, so I'm gonna take these wispy lashes. I'm pretty sure these are Kiss or Ardell. Probably Ardell, Ardell wispies. Um, and I'm just gonna cut the outer flare part of this lash. And we are gonna place that underneath as well. So it's, it's a thin section of the outer lash super thin section of the outer lash and repeating the same step just putting some lash glue on it on top of the lash band and then we're also going to put just a touch you don't want to layer too much because then it's going to look heavy and the glue is going to look cakey but we're going to put a touch of lash glue on this outer corner so we can get that to stick and this one is a little bit longer so it should flare nicely up underneath. And make sure we're avoiding that waterline. I'm gonna let it get tacky a little bit and then mash it together. But that is the difference. All right, so we zoomed in a little bit. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. And so first I'm gonna go ahead and with my spoolie that has lash glue on it. Then dip it in the lash glue, brush it on underneath. Be careful. Then I'm gonna take the wand itself. Now I'm gonna coat the top lash band. On top of the lash band. I know I shouldn't be chewing this gum, but I wanted some gum. So now we're about to apply the lash 
and again I'm starting from the outer corner to the inner corner so hopefully y'all can see so we're going underneath the lash avoiding the waterline and going toward the base of the lashes and we're gonna do the middle I'm sorry y'all this is hard to show then we're going to do the front place it just like that on the lashes hopefully y'all can see that I hope I wasn't out of frame and then lastly we're gonna put that long wispy lash so we're gonna give that a moment to dry and then we will smash our lashes with our supposed lash extensions so boom there you have it low budget lash extensions we can even do like they do us with the pan to dry your lashes all right y'all so this is what the lashes look i think adding the extra on the edges gives it a nice flare a nice little bit of like dramatic but still natural let me know if you guys like my faux lash extensions or like would you wear them even simpler than this um the set i took off at the beginning didn't have as thick of a outer lash that makes it a little bit more dynamic but i think it's super cute and i really like it so let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see and specifically let me know what beginner videos you guys want to see i'm wrapping up everything that q1 holds so now i can break free and finish some content for you guys so super excited about that i love y'all so very much and y'all never forget at the end of the day without regrets love yourself and be you tiffle bye y'all